the raging debate of world football, Ronaldo or Messi. To some, the Argentine is the greatest player ever, and to others, the Portuguese edges him out. What can be denied is the fact that both of these players are the best of their generation and none come close to their league. What makes their rivalry even more debatable is that, despite being goal scorers, they are both really different from each other. While Messi is more technique oriented, Ronaldo relies on power and incredible work ethic. These are the differences that make them unique and their rivalry special. Almost every aspect of their game is contrasting to each other and here we take a look at them. Let's start off with what they do best, that is finishing. Over the last half decade, these two have scored more goals than any teams combined. It is for this reason that no one has occupied the top two spots of the Ballon d'Or in the last five years other than them. The Portuguese is a solid finisher and it is his biggest strength. Be it from the tightest of angles or the longest of distance, one can bet on Cristiano Ronaldo to score from a minute scoring chance. He heavily relies on power to make sure that his shots end up in the back of the net and it works more often than not. While on the other hand the Argentine prefers placing his shots accurately and he does it almost always. The 5 time Ballon d'Or winner's brilliant technique and precision allows him to place his shots from the meanest of situations. This strength of his has allowed him to score so many goals and will continue to do so as technique never gets old with age. Once upon a time, Ronaldo was one of the best dribblers in the world. During his time at Sporting and United, he plucked the ball out from deep and dribbled past many players to score. His freestyle Messi dribbles ruined the nights of many defenders. However, he isn't the same now as he can rarely pull off a single successful dribble these days. The problem is that his dribbling style made sure that he became a little predictable at some point in his career. Lionel Messi is the best dribbler in the world. His close control while dribbling is quite astonishing and makes people wonder how he actually does it. The ball seems to stick to his feet as if he was born with it and it is an extension of his leg. This is the one field where Messi is outrightly superior to Ronaldo or any player for that matter and leaves little room for debate. The Portuguese perhaps has the greatest leap in the game as it feels like he floats in the air while he's at his best. His superb jumping technique allows him to stay in the air for the maximum amount of time and his precision heading allows him to place the ball in the net with accuracy. In this aspect, Cristiano Ronaldo is much better than Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi can do everything except score from headers frequently. While he has scored some headers, he is far from what one could call as aerially strong. His short stature could be the only reason for this. There is little doubt that he would have been great aerially if he were some more inches taller. He has shown some improvement in numerical terms, scoring a few headers this season but by no means is he prolific in the air. Passing wasn't something Ronaldo did often back in his Manchester United days. He preferred dribbling more than passing to a teammate. However, his playing style has changed considerably at Real Madrid and he brings in his teammates a lot more than he once used to. His passing, however, is not as creative as it should be for a player of his caliber. After so many years of playing football at the top, it can be concluded that this is the biggest deficiency in his game, something that costs him a lot. On the other hand, there are very few players in the world that can pass the ball as fluently as Lionel Messi. The Argentine is a mastermind at creating chances for his teammates by sliding in vicious defense-piercing passes that dismantle the defense of so many teams. His unreal close control allows him to make passes from the tightest of spaces and his hog vision gives him the accuracy that makes him effective. He can be closed down by multiple defenders and yet he can bridge them with a divine pass. Pace is one of the most little aspects of Cristiano Ronaldo's game. He can outrun almost every defender there is in world football. He has got incredible thigh muscle strength that allows him to burst forward with long strides and cover a lot of ground in a very short space of time. His running style is really advantageous when there is free space to run into. However, where the space is little, he can rarely function at top speed there. Ronaldo's sprinting style is best suited for counter-attacking football. While the Argentine is also quick, his sprinting style is a lot different. He runs with short strides and that allows him to twist and turn more and break through defenses. This sprinting style is what allows him the extra yards and seem almost uncatchable. Messi's dribbling style is best suited for tiki-taka-based football. 
First Touch is an essential part of a player's skill set. It differentiates the good from the best. A good first touch is the sign of a clever player. Anyone who has played a little bit of football would know how difficult it is to control an incoming pass. Cristiano Ronaldo's first touch is decent, to say the least. It isn't clever or great, just decent. He can receive the ball and control, but not consistently make space with it. While shooting, however, the descent becomes legendary as he has scored some astonishing goals with his first touch, something that only he can do best. When it comes to first touch, there are only a few better players than Lionel Messi. What makes him genius is his subtle first touch. With his first touch itself, he beats defenders and makes space for himself. His awareness while receiving the ball in passing surroundings is incredible. Near the goal, however, his first touch to score isn't as glorious as Ronaldo. His awareness of the sticks in these scenarios is better than that of the Argentine. Ronaldo's left foot is just about as strong as his right when it comes to shooting. The power he generates from his suppose weaker foot while taking a shot leaves many with AK vice. However, he doesn't really use it while dribbling. In that regard, his weak foot is really weak. To be fair to him, though not all, but some players like Santi Cazorla can use both their feet even while dribbling. On the other hand, Lionel Messi has scored some great goals with his right foot. While his weaker right foot isn't as strong as the Portuguese's weaker left foot, but it does have more efficiency when it is nearer to goal. Even with his right foot, Messi seems to place the ball quite well, but other than that and over long distances, his right is almost obsolete and he uses it only for running and balancing himself.